welcome back welcome back this is going to be the admin section of this um video series i guess so i'm i'm going to skip all of this stuff i'm going to scroll down to where it says activity one and it tells us what we should name our stuff and it tells us the files and folders that we should have as well so outcomes for submission here you must create a folder to submit your work your folder should be named according to the naming convention this so i'm going to say my name is joshua smith this is the this should be the name of my folder so this is where i've saved most or all of my files i don't really remember when you're using your exam accounts simply create it wherever you think is necessary so i'm going to show you how to do that now on windows 10 and windows 11 it's very similar windows 7 it should be the same thing as well to be fair you right click on a blank empty space anywhere there's a blank empty space you can right click not left click right click now on mine this is the windows 11 menu so i'm going to go to show more options and that actually gives me the windows 7 8 and 10, um, 10 menu click on that this is what you guys will see I'm going to go down to where it says new and I'm going to click on folder. So right click new folder. I have a folder here and it wants me to rename it straight away. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put in the details. I think it's registrate, sorry, center number first. And in my case, the example here is one, two, three, four, five, then underscore, then my registration number. This is something you should get from your schools as well. Your center number you should get from your school as well. So I'm going to say my college is MK and I'm going to put the number that they have 180254, for example, I chose a different number. That's fine. And then my surname is King Boss, obviously, and then underscore again. And then my first name is R for Ronald, right? Ronald King Boss. So this is my folder. After you've typed it in, I'm going to just press enter. I'm going to try and zoom in on the video as well. That's the name of the folder where I'm going to save all my stuff. So I've got five activities here. I think I'm missing one, but don't worry too much about that. I'm going to show you how it should be done. I've got five activities here. One, two, three, four, five. And you need to name the folders correctly and put them in the folder. Plus, um, I think, yeah, it says here, you will need to submit five PDF documents. Do not submit a Word document, five PDF documents. On the left here, it says activity one needs to be named activity strategy, my registration number, my surname, my first letter of my first name. So my activity one is my strategy. So I'm going to come over here, find my strategy. You go look for yours, whatever it's called. You, this needs to be a PDF. This needs to be a PDF. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to just rename all of these as the correct names first, and then I export them as PDFs. So you can go right click. Again, this is the options that you guys will see on Windows 10. Click rename. And this one is going to be activity one strategy. You know what? I'm going to copy this. I'm going to be lazy. I'm going to copy that because I don't want to misspell anything here. Rename, do that underscore. Uh, what's my registration number again? Mine is, oh God, mine is MK180254, 180254. Um, the surname is K-I-N-G-B-O-S-S. -S. It's going to be your surname, obviously. The first letter of my first name is R, so I can do that. Then activity number two, I'm going to name it this. So I'm going to copy this catalog. Activity number two for me was a catalog. Where is my catalog? Here it is. Rename this. Again, right click. Go to show more options for Windows 11, that is. Um, this is what you guys will see on Windows 10, Windows 7. Rename. I'm going to paste that in there. Again, my registration number is mk180254 i should make this simpler next time underscore surname so your full surname mine is king boss and the first letter of my first name is r for ronald perfect and then for activity three i'm going to go to this one activity three solution uh where is that one again activity three here right click you guys will see rename that's what you're going to want to click on put that there underscore mk180254 for me then underscore again surname k-i-n-g-b-o-s-s -S for me underscore r for ronald perfect activity number four is evaluation um i think it's this one here right click go down to where it says rename paste that in underscore um mk180254 Please ensure that you guys are putting in your registration numbers, not mine. My surname is K-I-N-G-B-O-S-S -S underscore R for Ronald. 
and then the final one is going to be activity five copy that again uh, you could just highlight it on the exam paper but you guys won't have the exam paper so please ensure that you type this out correctly let me just zoom in a bit more so all i'm doing i'm highlighting this and i'm going right click and i do copy that's all i'm doing then this is it for me right click go down to where it says rename i'm going to put that name in i'm going to put underscore my registration number is mk 180254 underscore king boss under oh not minus underscore r and those are all my files renamed so i'm going to try and zoom in on this and you guys can see everything over here activity one two three four and five now after i've renamed my files the thing that i must do now is export my word documents as pds pretty straightforward um task if you have even the 2007 plus versions of Word. So from 2007 onwards, it became very easy to export PDFs. I'm gonna double click on my document. It's gonna open with all the stuff I've done. Um, I think this is probably the wrong document, but it really doesn't matter. Let's just say all my work is in here. I'm gonna go File. I'm gonna go Export here. I'm gonna choose uh, Create PDF XPS. Click on that, it's gonna ask me where I wanna save it. For now, I'm going to choose desktop, and I think I have a unit 14 folder, but you guys choose wherever you need yours to be. This is a folder I created earlier. I'm going to go down to where it says um, part B is where I have everything in, and this is a folder I created as well. Double click on that. I'm going to, all I have to do now is click publish because I already chose to do PDF. Click publish, done. It's going to open a preview for some of you guys. Simply close it, and you're good to go. That one's done. That's activity one finished. Let's close this just to make sure. Now, when we're in here, as you can see, I'm going to go into my folder, which I've created. My file is in there as a PDF. Perfect. I'm going to do the same thing for activity two. Double click on it. Again, mine is empty because I'd lost my files, I think, somehow. But don't worry about that. Um, go to file, export, create PDF, and uh, where you know what let me just drop them on desktop for now it's a bit easier for me then i'll just drag and drop them in so publish on desktop perfect let's close this one as well i'm going to go to activity three double click on it opens up this one is probably okay more or less going to go to file going to go to export again create pdf or xps click on that i'm going to drop mine on desktop for now just so it's a bit easier for me you should put yours where it needs to be but you can always move it afterwards. Once you know where it has been saved, you can always move it. I'm going to show what I'm going to do to move it. Click Publish. Opens up a preview window. Perfect. I'm going to close that one. I'm going to close the Word document as well. I'm going to go back to Activity 4. Double click on that. Opens up. This is what I've done for Activity 4, let's say. I think it's all down here. Yep. File. Export. Create PDF or XPS. I'm going to choose desktop again. Now, you don't have to mess with the name because I've already renamed everything. You can rename it afterwards if you really want to, but if you rename it before, it makes your life a bit easier. Click on publish, close that. Some of you will have the error that say you cannot rename the file because it's whatever, whatever. In most cases, that simply means that you have the Word document open. So when you try to rename it, it won't work. I'm going to show you what I mean after this. This is my final one, activity five. I'm going to go to file. Can I export? No, because I have to do enable editing. Once it does come up, just give it a few seconds. Here I have enable editing come up. I'm going to click enable editing. I'm going to go to file again. I'm going to go to export, create PDF. I'm going to drop this on desktop again. Click publish. And I believe that's everything. So I'm going to close the PDF preview. I'm going to close my Word document. I'm going to go to my desktop. Please don't judge me. It's very messy. Minimize this, leave this one open, and here are all the files I just exported. So again, this is just my desktop, and here are all the files I just exported. I'm going to move all of these into the folder which I created earlier, which is in here. So I'm going to double-click on that folder. I already have one in there because I only put one in there at the very start. The way to move it in, I do not suggest anyone cut and paste. Do not cut and paste. I highly recommend copy and paste because copy and paste is going to ensure that you don't lose anything. Something gets corrupted or stopped halfway through. You're still okay because you have the original. Highlight all of them. You simply use your mouse and drag over all of them. So start dragging from a blank space and move it over all of them. Then when they're all highlighted, you're going to right click 
you're going to choose well for me i'm going to go to show more options but for you guys you should see this list straight away right click go to copy that's been copied now go to your folder click on an empty white space just click once left click once on any empty white space then you right click and again for me because i'm on windows 11 i'm going to go to show more options but when you guys right click you should see this list here straight away and you're going to just go to paste it's going to paste all that stuff in and that's it you're done so again i have my folder here which i created at the beginning then i have my pdfs here which i've exported from my word documents now the thing i wanted to show you guys quickly let's say i've got activity one open let's open activity one i'm typing doing my work everything is going perfectly well and i think you know what i don't like that name let me change it to the right name i need to have i'm going to go back to my folder where everything is when i try to rename this let's try everything is the same now i'm just going to add abc at the end of it when i press enter look what's going to come up see so thing comes up oh here's the error actually this this is what comes up for me this error saying oh you can't rename it because uh this file is currently being used all i need to do is to close that dialog box come back to my word document make sure you save it so you go to file you go to save or you simply press Control and s on your keyboard so ctrl let me zoom all the way in ctrl plus s so press and hold control for a few seconds like let's say one second and then tap the s key that saves your work as well Control s to save when i close this now and i come to rename that same file again i'm going to right click go to show more options go down to rename and on the end i'm going to add dash a b c when i press enter this time no issues because the file cannot be renamed whilst the file is open so you have to close the file and then rename it let's just double check i haven't missed anything else i think i might need to zip this folder as well i'm not entirely sure uh no i think that's it i believe that's everything so thank you guys for watching hopefully that was useful hopefully that was helpful please like subscribe comment and share let's get more people watching let's try and help as many people as we can the more you like the more people will see it and the more people will get helped so good luck to everyone i hope you guys did really well on the exam nice exam i think bye bye